What is going on, everybody? I am back playing even more Pokemon Jade. I was just called in the last episode and told to return to Melbourne City, but not after first beating the Dark-type gym leader, Victor, and getting Surf, which is phenomenal. Well, I mean, I guess I already had the move and was kind of using it to kick some butt, even in the gym battle, but now I can go and explore the water, and it's going to be fantastic. And I need to see what Fartbutt has to say. However... I really wish I had fly right about now. That would have been really nice. Ooh, a frill seed. I wonder if I should catch one of these just to fill out my Pokedex. I might just do that. Come on, frill seed. I'm not doing too much damage. And uh, I'm fine with that. Come on, frill seed. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. All right. I'm thinking one Mega Drain ought to do it. That ought to do it. That ought to put him into the red. Yeah. All right, Luck Tuft. You can do it. I really want my Lugtuff to evolve. Lugtuff kicked some serious butt in the last gym battle. I think that the victory would not have been possible if I didn't have Stun Spore on Lugtuff. And like the Synthesis Leech Seed shenanigans. Pretty good. I could stall the heck out of people if I wanted to. Maybe I should have got rid of Mega Drain. Just keep Synthesis. It's so good. Frill Seed can sometimes be difficult to find. Their ability to hide inside their leafy collars makes for impressive camouflage. Nice. That's pretty cool. I like catching, like, all the fake mon that I can and, like, filling out the Pokedex and stuff. It's pretty neat. Let's see. I wish that I could, like, get back over there. I wonder if I can. That'd be interesting if I could, like... I guess I can't. I gotta go back the old-fashioned way. I wish I could pick up this cool artifact, though. I want to bring it to my boy, Wellington. <laughs> he's, like, the main character. He's, like... He's, like, me. I see a little bit of myself in Wellington because he's so beefy and that's that's a fact <laughs> all right disarm in voice that actually uh didn't do a whole lot of damage hey this cappy boy is pretty strong i should probably just stop fighting all these random wild pokemon oh my god see that that was where the real damage was at this this disarming voice like is that not as good what's the dealio look how cool this bridge is god it's so cool What's up, Wellington? How you doing, bro? Let me know if you find any interesting artifacts. Well, I found one to the south. I guess you could go and explore that. You could see what's going on over there. <gasps> Ooh, a spear worm. This might be worth looking into. Disarming voice. Haha. -ha. Oh, not my defense. Anything but that, please. Let's take another one of these. And another paralyzer. Ooh, my defense has harshly fallen now. Should have just done that in the first place. I think uh, Grape ought to do it. See, I want to confirm. My theory was that this is like, what, Psychic? Oh, I know what it is. It's probably like a Cascoon, Silcoon, you know, like Beautifly, Dust Talk scenario. Maybe this is one of two evolutions. So this one is Bug Ghost. The other one might be Bug Psychic, though. Some believe that Spear Worm is the concentrated souls of all the bugs that humans have unintentionally killed. It's known for the guilt it can bring out. Or maybe this is completely, maybe this is just a bug that's completely separate from uh, the first one that I caught, like Waggle. Maybe that's the case. Yeah, Spear Worm is completely separate. I'm stupid, I'm crazy. Look, Spear Worm's way down here in the Pokedex. And then uh, Waggle is going, uh, doop -doop. oh yeah, this is absolutely the evolution also. It might have a third though, that could be cool. So this is kind of like a Jumpluff, Silcoon, you know, I mean, Skiploom. Oh my gosh. Words are just flying out of me left and right. So there it is. Maggle into Harcoon into Lashafly. That's the confirmed evolution. And then Spearworm is totally separate. Cool. I'm glad we were all able to get to the bottom of that together. <laughs> oh boy, oh jeez. I'm so frequently wrong. It's awesome. <laughs> it is just awesome. It also doesn't help that Maggle can be found in the same place as Spearworm for my confusion. And I'm a guy who gets hella confused. Let's see. I feel like maybe I didn't fully explore what was going on over here, or did I? Huh, I think I did. I explored just about all there was to see in the rainforest. That was cool. That was a nice rainforest. Hello, nurse. Yeah. Yeah, I could use a little heal. I like how fast the heal is too. It's free, it's fast. That's the best. When it's free and fast, that's my jam. Dang, I had like two tiles of grass I was gonna touch. 
Oh well. I could take this guy down. I'll take you on. Go Mega Drain. Look at that. This is pretty good damage. How do you rebut? Oh! Sand in my face? See, I don't like that one bit. Please. <laughs> Please hit. Come on, Mega Drain. No, no. Actually, that's fine. I don't really care about my attack stat. I don't really care at all about Luck Cuff's attack stat. I'm all about that special attack. Uh huh. I'm just gonna hit people with Stun Spore and Leech Sheet, and it's gonna be fantastic. That's my plan. I'm gonna set up on them. Oh, this song is so good. Oh yeah, I've got my third gym badge. Can I see what's going on in here? <gasps> Bikes are us. Could I have a bike, please? Oh, is that a shadow badge I see? You must be an impressive trainer. Well, normally these bikes cost upwards of one million, but for such a strong trainer, I'll make an exception. A brand new bike free of charge. Yes, I know, how generous. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you! Have fun riding around, kid! Don't hurt yourself. I won't! Oh, I got a new bike. Your boy's a bike boy now. Give me that, let me uh, register this. Also, what's with the uh, key riddle? Oh, it's gibberish and I couldn't read it if I tried. Shucks. Oh! I'm cruising! Oh, your boy's cruising! Alright, what's going on up here? <laughs> uh, I gotta make it up to the third floor of MNK Industries, huh? I just want to save real quick, now that I've got my bike. I think that was the default bike music. The one that played, the one that's like a MIDI. Well, that's fine. Oh, the music resets each time. Interesting. All right. Let's see what's going on up here. I made it to the third floor. What's taking them so long? Hey, it's me. What's up, dude? Finally, Cam, you're here. I made it. Hello. Thanks for coming, Cam. We really need your help. Yes, it seems Team Wild is up to something yet again. See, I said this before earlier in the playthrough, but I'm glad that the old gym leaders that I've already beaten are still recurring characters in the plot. Matt and Kim are still important plot players, and I dig that. It seems Team Wild is up to something yet again. It has always been rumored that Team Wild has a secret base somewhere in the ocean. There were explosions heard somewhere in the distance of, from Warren's Bay. So we have reason to believe their secret base is somewhere east of Warren's Bay. Sweet. I know where that is on the map. I've already scoped it out. I'm glad that we're going surfing. In order to investigate the explosions, however, you'd need to cross Ibex Coral Reef. The current on the surface is too strong for Pokemon to surf over, but it's impossible to stay merged long enough to cross underneath. Dude, do I get to go submerging underneath? That'd be dope. Until now! We've engineered a special suit that'll allow you to dive deep down in the sea and stay down indefinitely? That's really freaking cool. So, like, dive is like scuba gear in this game? I dig that a lot. That's super awesome. I want to see it. Give me, give me the scuba. So this is where you come in, Cam. Or this is where you come in, Cam. Fart butt is going to keep, I guess there's an extra space in front of Cam also. Whatever, I need to stop. I need to focus on reading that fart butt is going to keep the people of Warren safe. While you get through Ibex Coral Reef and find out what is going on with Team Wild. Here's our special one of a kind diver suit. Be careful with it. <gasps> yes. That's so cool. Hey, this lady's just walking in here. We're having a private meeting here, lady. Oh my God, she's walking right in. If you surf off the east coast of Warren's Bay and head, or yeah, off the coast and head east, you'll get to where you need to go. Good luck. Let's relinquish this evil torment. Let's evil tormenting Aria once and for all. I can't stop focusing on this lady. Well, meet me there. Oh, that'd be so funny if she bumped into that NPC. Let's go through Ibex Coral Reef to investigate what Team Wild is up to. I like that, the little quest UI. That's one peril for um, having randomly walking around NPCs. One thing you could do is make an ed, like a, a thing here and have it not be set to through. But yeah. She's just walking around in here. What are you doing, lady? What a great person you are. No, you're the great person. No, you're the great one. But yeah, what you could do is also make it so that way their move route is not set to random, but is set to, like, custom. And then you could make them walk around aimlessly, but also have it so that way they never walk up in there. You can make it so their move route was just left, right, up, down, up, down, left, right. You know, something like that. Oh, it's the sprinter. I quick. I gotta go faster than her. Ah! Oh, Sailor Man's in the way now. Haha, <laughs> you got blocked by a Sailor Man. All right, let's go heal real quick. So I guess I gotta go back to Warren's Bay. Wait, do I even need to heal? My team's doing good, right? Yeah, my team's doing fine. I don't need to heal. I'm chilling. I am chilling. All right, let's save again though, just because I love saving. I'm a save master. All right, so I got the diver suit now too. That's pretty dope. I could just breathe underwater with that. I got dive, but in the form of an HM item. I love it. So I need to go to the south and then to Wairns, and then there's the coral reef. And that will take me to Lydney City. It's like Sydney, 
but it's Lydney. And so this is supposedly where the Team Wild HQ is. I love that you can just see that on the map, too. That's hilarious. So theoretically, if I browsed my map down there at the start of the game, I could see where t the Team Wild headquarters is. <laughs> oh, that's just public info. That's fine, though. All right, so this is where I need to surf off from, huh? This will take me to, uh... Will this take me to the place I'm trying to go? Or maybe I just... I think I need to surf from Warens. But I still want to surf here and see what's going on. All right, what's going on over here? Huh, doesn't seem like much, actually. I think I'm blocked. Hmm. This might be a good time for me to pop out a repel. Because I could get some more free experience. But in the interest of time, I'm going to pop a repel. Let's pop one. I've only got one. Oh, I have three super repels also. Nice. And then the lax incense. That could be good, actually, to put on somebody. Should I even put the EXP share on somebody else? If I'm going to a water place, I think leveling up Knuckles is going to be a big deal. My water and electric types are going to be big. Could this be where I scuba? It does look like dark water there. But yeah, I guess that's not the place where I uh, am meant to. Oh, dang it. That's inconvenient. <laughs> All right, so that's a bad spot for me to land when I'm surfing. Oh, there's just no collision on the corner piece. Weird. Okay. Huh. Either way, I'm going to run back down to Wairns. I'm going to take my bike. Dang it. I'll use another one later once I get closer to the water. All right, I've made it to Wairns. <gasps> Fartbutt's here. What's up, dude? All right, you made it. I'll be here making sure no Team Wild people cause any problems. Take some of these. You'll probably need them. Oh, thank you for the potions. Mucho appreciado. I believe in you. Come back and talk to me once you're done. All right. Oh, no, look at the shadows there in the corner, in the bottom right corner. Don't. It's okay. It's fine. I'm going to instead go and buy some more super repels because I definitely think I'm going to need them. And I can buy revives now. Maybe I could have bought revives earlier. I can buy hyper potions now? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'll buy some max repels, though. Yeah, these are going to be a big deal. That's what I'm going to sink a lot of money into. Cool, 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 cool. I think I'm doing pretty good on items. I'll buy some hyper potions, though, because there are some things... Sometimes a super potion just doesn't cut it. So, I might as well get an item that does cut it. Hyper potions. Now I've got a nice little full heal. Those will be super useful in, like, a Pokemon battle. The uh, super potions... When I was fighting uh, Victor, actually, were kind of lackluster, huh? I had to pop a couple in a row. All right, let's see what's going on here. To the Ibex Coral Reef. Oh, yeah. Can I dive here? I guess I can't. Huh. This water here on the right looks like a like a, like a a flat line. Oh, man. I'm so critical. <gasps> My fingers look like raisins. I feel that. My fingers look like raisins. When I get into a jacuzzi and get on out, they dry up like crazy. <gasps> Finjoy. Oh, I love that little... Look at that little fish. That's awesome. The question is, what type are you? Maybe it's Water Fairy. That'd be cool. Oh, it's Water Fairy indeed. Confirmed. I love it. That's a good fake mon. It's a good Pokemon, I mean to say. It's a good design. It's just good. It's good. Oh, crap. It knows Brian? That's a good move. However, Mega Drain? That'll take, that'll take the day. You can't beat me if I'm just going to keep on healing every single turn, yo. Trippish. I think I'm not going to swap. I can take you on. I'm not afraid of any trippishes. Come on. What do you think I... Oh! It's a one-shot? What? What the... Are trippishes weak? I think they're weak. Oh, my goodness. Do you swim around here often? Oh, <gasps> yay! Locked up is evolving. Ooh, it's going to become the cat. The little guy. I'm excited to see if it evolves again and what it evolves into, as well as I'm excited to see the stat increases. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be tanky as heck now, Dan Drifta. Look at my little look at my little cat. Look at my little cat guy. Yeah. Look at that little cat guy. Oh my guy's so good. Oh my guy's so good. What do we got? Pretty good stats. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. It's got high speed. It's actually just okay stats. It has high health. Interesting. I think this is just going to be a like a tanky healer. It's going to like outlast a lot of people in these turns. And I'm fine with that. That's a cool strat. I'm just going to destroy everybody. But slowly. 
<laughs> oh, that was level 19. I should have fought it. Ooh, they got good music on this route also. The Ruby Sapphire route music really slaps. Dang, it's a bummer that the corners, though. There's like a weird collision issue on those corners. I would expect to be able to interact with the corner and then surf up. Hello, mister. Do you want to fight or do you just want to talk? I'm not stranded here, don't worry. While I'm waiting for my mom's boat, we can have a quick battle. Alright. He wanted to talk and battle, so I guess you get the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana. Alright, Kent, what do you got? Whoa. Diarvo. So, this is absolutely ground. This is the evolution of the Aardvark from earlier. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. Huh, <laughs> just swift. All right. Calm down, Taylor. Get it? A Mega Drain! And just like that, your boy's got all... Well, I don't have all my health left. I don't have all my health back. That'd be nice, though. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a lot of experience from that guy. Wow, you're no pushover. I want to fight you again, man. That's some good training. Let's just keep on fighting. That'd be cool if I could just be like, hey, man, you want to fight me again and again and again and again, dude? I'll pay you. I will literally pay you to train my Pokemon. That would actually be something really cool. A cool system for Pokemon games. Like, I really hate training on wild Pokemon. Oh. I, so I think it'd be really cool to be like, yo, dude, I'll pay you if you just keep fighting me. However, that could be very exploitable. So potentially, like, after you beat him, like, twice or three times, he's like, yo, we fought too many times. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm out of here. And <laughs> he just leaves the route. I'm out of here. I'm blowing this popsicle stand. Kelpoof. Oh. I'm thinking water grass. That's cool. It's like kelp. I dig that. So many of these Pokemon I, I really dig. I'm a big fan also of the fact that there's a lot of water type like variants. I think it's really cool that we're seeing water grass, that we saw water fairy. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking all the water types I'm seeing. Water types are so cool. Oh, look at this guy. I'm going to guess water rock. That's my guess. Tubball. That's a cool little guy. It's almost, it kind of reminds me of Corsola, but it's like a little, <laughs> like a little Glover Corsola. Ooh, pin missile. Interesting. Do I take this? Two to five, but I don't have stab on it, and it's only 85 accuracy. It's hard. If I became Electric Bug, I would keep it. But if I don't become Electric Bug, do I just get rid of Poison Sting then? Poison Sting right now sucks. It just sucks. So I, I think I'll replace Poison Sting, actually. I mean, if, if, if I become Electric Poison, Poison Sting will become more important. And it looks like I will become Electric Poison. If I had to guess, I, I would bet money on the fact that I do. However, I can just replace it with like a better move later. Oh my god, what the heck are you? Quiltita? Oh, it's got like one little pixel in the bottom left. Do you see that? Oh, not very effective with that. Oh no, is this water dark? Ooh, I'm excited to see what this, what type this is. Mega Drain might kill it though. Oh, that's not super effective. What are you? Keep spamming scary face. What? What the heck is this? Quil Quiltida. Could it be water poison? Is that what it is? It's got to be water poison. Mega Drain's not super effective. Disarming Voice isn't doing too much either. That's my guess. It's got to be water poison. Toxic Spikes. It's confirmed. Your boy has confirmed that this is water poison. I'm still going to catch it. That's really interesting. Look at that. So many different water type variants. I really like that. Aw, oh, yeah. Your yeah, boy's exploring the ocean. I need to heal up Lugtuft. Water poison. Quiltida are a rare starfish only found in Ario. They are highly poisonous and dangerous to touch and hold. Uh-oh. That sounds like a liability. Could you imagine if your kid's first Pokemon was a Quiltida and they just, like, poisoned the heck out of themselves? That would hurt, and that would stink. Ooh. All right, Trippish. All right, Trippish. I'm oh, running out of PP on my Mega Drain. Oh, no. But at least I'm going to level up from this. Maybe. Probably. Potentially. Come on, Lucktuft. No! Oh, I'm so close. I think I have ethers that I could use. That's interesting to be being carried so hard by one singular attack that I have to ether it. See, I know I got to go to the right, but I want to go to the left and fight her. Oh, do you not want to fight? I managed to capture a Coltita. They're quite rare around here. Let me show you. Oh, she does want to fight. Dang it. 
I could have sworn that she was gonna do like the whole sight distance thing. I caught one of those too. I, I, I'm cool too, I swear. <laughs> I swear I'm cool, come on. All right, time for Chuckles to see some battle. Uh oh, Scald, uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was a weird turn of events. Ah, my ear is so itchy right now. All right, let's, uh, confuse him? Confusion? Oh, it's faster. Shit. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, rest in peace, Chuckles. Uh, crap. Crippity crap. The fact that it's spamming Scald is quite scary. Scald's quite good. Thundershot? Oh, come on, man. Oh, that's doing so much damage. That is nuts. That's one thing that's like a bummer when you go up against some Pokemon AI and like a lot of Pokemon fan games. They pick their best move and spam the shit out of it. We saw it earlier when I was fighting Victor and his, um, his, uh, his like snake that was poison dark type just spam the crap out of bite. Every single turn it was bite, no matter what. And look, now I'm getting, now I'm getting scalded on. It's a little bit of a bummer. But, we get the KO, and uh, it's gonna be that easy. That was actually a hard fought win. <laughs> that was too, that was, that was tough. How could you possibly defeat my cool, cool Tita? That was hard. That was a hard fight. I almost didn't win. It was kicking my butt a bit. Oh, Lucktop's out of Mega Drain, huh? Oh, I got one more. I'll use it here, and then I'll switch. My plan is to actually go back and heal real quick. <laughs> this Coral Reef is tough. This is a tricky spot right here. My Pokemon are uh, maybe not as well prepared as I thought. Knuckles is kind of beat up. Maybe I could lead with Nerd Slayer? I definitely cannot get Edge in the mix. Maybe I could even get Chuckles in the mix when I'm not getting like destroyed by friggin' Scald. One thing's for certain though, Edge, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to sit out for a little bit. Sorry, guy. Nope! Oh! Wild Pokemon immediately. <gasps> oh, it's the Fairy one. Water Fairy would be cool. That's the one downside. I already have a water type on my team. Trying to get my laps in for the day. It's a struggle, but it's worth it. Yeah, gotta get your exercise on. But yeah, that's the one thing about exploring the ocean. 100% of these Pokemon, I'm looking at them and being like, yeah, sorry, you're not going, you're not joining my team, I'm sorry. And it was Water Rock, I called it. But uh, yeah, every single water Pokemon I look at, I'm like, yeah, you're cool and all, but I've already got water. And I wouldn't want to double up. I am not the kind of guy, the kind of guy to double up on that. Kelpoof, you were grass, water grass, which means I could hit him with bubbles. This could be good. I can hit him with my poison type attacks. Acid spray. I can't believe my bubbles still knows tail whip. I need to get like some more moves on this guy. I'm excited to see when bubbles evolves too. You're even more built than I am. I mean, I'm all right. I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> Let's pop another super repel. Let's get the heck over here. Nice. I like this route. This is a cool ocean route. Uh-oh. I popped a super repel and this guy still wants to fight? <gasps> it's another cool Tita. These guys are scary as hell. Oh, I can't escape. Let me run. Let me run from you. Oh my gosh. He's just spamming toxic spikes. Please let me run. Oh my god. That's one of the most annoying slash frustrating things in Pokemon games. The, hey, you can't run, text. That's something that I wish was just like a 100% success rate. Or something that's like once you stacked it like once, then the next one's guaranteed. You know what I mean? Like, how does failing to run away benefit the game? It could build tension and you could say like, oh, these wild Pokemon are really strong. But at the same time, like, I don't know, it just seems like an annoyance to select that you want to do something and opt into doing something and just forfeit your turn. And then for the game to be like, nah, you don't get to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the negatives outweigh the pros. I'd rather just run 100% of the time when I want to run. You know? Maybe that's just me. But we, I'm open to have a discussion about it. I'm open to discuss. I'm a discusser after all. They do call me Discussion Cam. They don't... <laughs> They don't call me that, but they could, because I'm open to discuss it. All right, so this must be Ibex Coral Reef. I can tell because of how, uh, I can tell because of how it looks. All right, this will probably be a map transfer, actually. Let's see what's going on over here. Putting on the diver suit. Oh, whoa, look at that animation, that's cool. Oh, and I get to walk around underwater? 
Oh, and I get to listen to this jamming tune. Interesting, so it's treated as like map transfers. Oh, that's kind of cool how they did that. Sweet, I'm a diver boy. And I can encounter like wild Pokemon down here under the water. I can't run right now though. Oh, this is cool. This person's probably gonna wanna fight. So let's fight. But look at that, you can see little bits of the light bleeding down through also. Let's battle real quick before I have to get back up for air. That's dope. That's pretty dope. All right, Annette, what do you got? Ooh, a tub ball, huh? Perfect. Perfect for me to one shot. <laughs> Quad damage, man, I'm sorry, it's just, it's pretty good. It's just, it's pretty good. And Knuckles is leveling up, which is also pretty good. Osipole? What are you? Oh, what are you? Is that, is that like dark water? No? Is it electric water? It's using water type attacks on me. I also noticed that Mega Drain wasn't super effective. It's gotta still be water. Could it be, maybe I'm crazy. It almost looks like it could be like ghost. That wouldn't make sense. Could it be poison? Poison water? Hmm. I guess we'll have to play a little bit more and find out, huh? All right, let's get that revive. And let's continue on. Let's continue this way. Oh shoot, that's a trainer? The trick is holding her breath. I thought that was like a, like a little pearl or something. Oh my gosh. Andres wants to fight, huh? He's got a Kelpoof, huh? You think that little guy's gonna beat me? That actually uh, is something I wanna switch for. <laughs> I'll switch into Bubbles. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I totally did not see that guy's head as like an actual head. Oh, Bubble Beam, you make me laugh. <laughs> Acid spray on your boy. Does that one shot? Oh my gosh, a one shots. That's uh, I guess Calpoof's pretty weak. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. It's okay, your Pokemon already did that. Ha <laughs> ha. There's a map transfer to the south. That looks like. That definitely looks like a map transfer. I can confirm it though. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on down here. Yes, a mystical forces are straining you. No, oh, mystical forces, dang it, foiled again. Ooh, I can do a handstand, watch. It looks kind of weird that it's like she's swimming around underwater, but it's like just her like head and hands, you know? Cause it's almost like that's the sprite that's meant to showcase, I'm gonna disarming voice here. Oh, that's super effective. Okay, it's water dark. Or is it? Am I crazy? What else is very good? It's, is it water dragon? Oh, don't tell me it's Water Dragon. I think it's Water Dragon, actually. Okay. Oh, that wasn't very impressive. But yeah, it looks a little bit weird that it's like she's using this sprite as if she's like swimming in the water above surface. I, I would expect to see her whole body, essentially. I would expect to see all of them as like full bodies because they're underwater. It's almost like they're underwater, but they're in water underwater. So there's like another level of water that they're submerged in. Ooh. Getting explosion though is also kind of crazy. I almost made it to the end of the reef. I might not be able to cross the finish line, though. Well, I'll I'll do it for you, Maddie. I will. Uh, I'll bite the bullet. I'll. Uh, I'll be the one to break that new that new ground. I'll cross to the new frontier. You can count on me, Maddie. You can count on me. I'm a reliable guy. See, look, <laughs> look at how reliable I am. I say while doing like a little goofy voice. <laughs> I'm reliable. All right, what else you got? A tubble. A little tubble, a little tubby. It's funny, I feel bad, like, nobody says tubby anymore, but that used to be, like, a thing that everybody called everybody when I was, like, in middle school. And it was, like, you know, meant to, like, call somebody, like, fat. And it's, like, I don't know, I still feel bad saying tubby. Like, it feels, like, I feel guilty, even if it's a Pokemon, even, even if it's not tubby. But it almost feels like something that was only said by like bullies. You know what I mean? It's like you only call somebody tubby when you're like bullying them, <laughs> which is pretty bad. Pretty damn bad. Another os pull, huh? Well, I'm glad that I have the ultimate counter to this guy. If he is Water Dragon, which I'm starting to think that's the case. That look, that, that's gonna be Water Dragon. That's a cool looking Water Dragon, by the way. I mean, I like it, and I'm excited to see what it evolves into. That could evolve into something really freaking cool. Dude, that'd be so scary if I didn't have a fairy type. Could you imagine if it had like Dragon Rage and it was just doing 40 damage to all my Pokemon every turn? That'd be so 
horrible. <laughs> oof. Oof. Turns into Mario. Big oof. Yep, can't do it. Gotta swim to the top. You can do it. You just gotta believe. I made it. That was cool. That was an interesting usage of the diver suit. I like that it was something that kind of mixed up my traversal methods. I thought that was really cool. One point of feedback is when getting the diver suit, my first instinct was that it was something that I would opt into using, and it was almost meant to be a replacement for an HM. Um, but that was not the case. It was something that was more of like a scripted, like linear sequence, which I'm not opposed to, because I thought that was pretty well done, and I'm excited to see more. However, one bit of feedback that I have for it is my initial impression was that I could use it anywhere I want. But that seems to not be the case. Anyway, who's this mysterious person? I made it to Lydney, though. Oh, there's Team Wild up there in the top right corner. Let's go get him. Hey, Kim, I heard you were coming. I'm Wendy, the city's gym leader. I try to keep things safe around here, but lately, I like how it's still the surfing music. Anyway, but lately, well, you know, Team Wild has been more active than usual. If you're wondering about the explosion, I don't know much, but what I do know is it came from the south. There's a place called Drotnest Island. Ooh, we gotta go. I've never been, but I've heard shady stories. You've never been. Come on. Come on. I'll stay here and take care of the citizens. You go check that island out. Okay, so I gotta go to the south and check out that island now. It's weird. It's still using the surfing music now. Oh, no. Yeah, now we get to listen to some real jamming tunes. Ooh. Ooh. Jam. J jam. Bum, ba -dum. Bum, ba -dum. Ooh, what do you got? Hiss. Oh. It's a snake man. I encountered a wild snake man. Whatever will I do? I know, I'm gonna go heal. So before I head south to Drotnest, I feel like I should train a little bit. My team is a little bit lacking in the level department, although it is making it pretty fun that all these battles are so close. However, it'll be really depressing when I lose them, and I don't want to lose. Your boy wants to win. Look how cool Lydney is, though. Oh my gosh. Wow. This place is dope as heck. Oh, there's a little cafe here. Okay, I will explore all of this in the next episode. I need to wrap this one up. Look at all these Team Wild members. Look at this. This city is so dope. This is such a nice looking city. Oh my gosh. Funnily enough, I was recently playing Dragon Quest Monsters, DQM, and I'm kind of getting vibes of like DQM's like first town that like, or I guess that second, I don't know. The first like starter island in that place. How it's got all the multiple layers and all like the white like bricks and everything. This looks so nice and there's a little fountain. Oh man, Lydney's dope as heck. This place is more more like Lydney, you know what I'm saying? Because it's lit as heck. I should probably stop. <laughs> a place surrounded by ocean and filled with vibrant people, much like a coral reef. This is a cool town. Anyway, we will explore more of it in the next episode, and then we can head down south to that next island as well. So, until then, I hope that you all have a good one.